in one of my math classes, the issue that I found was that students didn't tend to do the homework. And if they're not doing the homework, they're not grasping the concept, not doing well on the exams, and not learning. So I went to the clicker, kind of like a forced in-class homework. So I developed, for instance, a mortgage question. Mortgage question has several steps that build upon each other. So I made a slide for each of those steps. And I built the answers such that if they pick the wrong answer, I'm going to know why they picked that wrong answer. So we went through those. I went through the material in class. We did some in-class examples. And then had them grab the clickers and do kind of like homework. And so for each step, I could, one, see whether the, how many people got it. Mm -hmm. And for the ones who didn't get it, I knew why, so I could explain it at that point before we moved on to the next section, because those build upon each other. So I went through those, and I think that worked pretty well. Um, most students participated pretty well. Uh, it was something different. It got, them, got some buzz going, got them to actually do the work. Would you use clickers again? Oh yeah, yeah. I continue to continue to use them in survey, in quantitative analysis. I've only used them a couple times, mm -hmm. and I use it really for um, spice, to change a pace, to do something different. That class tends to get bored relatively easily, mm -hmm. and that just a mundane lecture, let's do some math, is not what they want to do. And so I need to find new and different things to do. And the clicker is something fun for them to do. It's like a video game. Uh, there's some buzz in the room. It keeps them awake. 